it's a little more plentiful than it has been in the past. So, yeah, things are really looking great, and this has been a really good year for us. I, I would say it's been at least 15 years that I know of when we've had snow year-round on, on that peak, and the streams have been flowing the way they have. All right, top of the world. Almost 10,000 feet up here, they say. This is the top of Sugarloaf, and this is where we're going to do the ceremony now. And beautiful place up here we're on cloud nine. The clouds are surrounding us. Beautiful. So right now, you can't see Big Bear down that way. It's all souped in with the white clouds. These clouds hold electrical energy, this mist. And when we vibrate, put our thoughts in, we're going to heal this mountain and we're going to heal a lot of the land out there, the trees. This is how consciousness works. We start drumming and singing and vibrating for about four songs. That sets the intentions and sets the electrical charge back in this mountain up here again. And the vibration of our thoughts put this mountain back into harmony. That means it starts vibrating at the same vibration the sun does. We vibrate the same way the sun does, but when the vibration of the mountain goes away, it's when they mine and develop and shake it with bombing, bad words, anger, and hatred. If we continue to have love and peace and walk in great manners and don't argue and don't fight on these places, we have harmony. That means the vibration is clear, clean, and pure. Consciousness is held by water, but it's also held by the other rest of the elements. The earth is the soil, the rocks, the wind is the same thing, the mist, and then you got the fire. The fire is electrical energy that's in the surface, which also turns into be the volcanoes. So this is how the earth works, and, and we forgot because of what has taken place in history. It's not pointing fingers at anyone. It's now we can retrace, go backwards, see what happened, and know why this is what it is, and then go forward. And that's what we're doing in Big Bear, <clears throat> in these mountains, energizing these mountains, harmonizing these peaks. So that snow will come back here, so the rivers will run 24-7. The springs will run. And the rains will be here. Understand Mother Nature, that she is our mother and we're only her children. No one owns the earth. But if her heartbeat stops, so does ours. If we continue to keep draining the energy from her, electrical magnetic energy, her heartbeat will stop. That means she's died. When she dies, no more life on the earth. And when we listen to the heart, ask the heart what's real, what's right, the heart tells us. <clears throat> but if we ask the mind, we've been taught to rationalize. And we rationalize so much that we make a lie into truth. And this is how greed, anger, hate, judgments come and cause us a dysfunction to destroy Mother Nature. Heal this whole mountain everywhere, all in this whole top. You know what's wrong. You've been here. You've lived here for so many years. You know the history. You know what's taking place. I ask you to do that. And when you can do those kinds of things, you heal your mountain. You heal yourselves. Thinking real clear. The white light of the sun is in here now, and when it hits us, we're crystals. We're made of water. When we use us as a crystal, it becomes very crystal clear within us, releasing any anger, hate, jealousy, then become peaceful. The question came to Dr. Emoto when he was here last. Well, when you clear the water, how long does it take to clear the water? And he said it depends on the person. It depends how peaceful the person is. Those people who have that can instantly clear the water and turn it pure. Those who are dark with anger and hatred It'll take them a lot longer to do what that person can do within a split second. So when we come here and we're very clear with our thought, you can imagine what we can do here, just four of us. Because we multiply it when the sun's coming in. And then with the stones we're going to use, these crystals, this is how the earth works. We only came to the earth to understand love and peace and harmony. To live in a beautiful way. Not for greed, not for anger, not for hatred, but to come and do what we're doing today. We live in peace and harmony. Then when the rain and the snow and all that comes, we have food in abundance. If we reach down inside ourselves and ask for the truth, it boils forth. And it says, hmm, there's something familiar. And then we begin to remember. That's what it's all about. Love, peace, and harmony. Living in trust and honor. And living in a beautiful manner. Treating each other as brothers and sisters. Five is the five fingers. Five fingers comes together, makes ten, makes a whole. When we begin to know white light, how it works, how purity works, how thoughts work, and that's what we're going to do here. We're going to put white light into the earth and store it and charge the earth and ask for harmony and peace and love through this valley and erase any negativity of the cowboys fighting, of the rustlers fighting over land, fighting over water, fighting over women. 
prostitution, mining, etc. Everything that took place in this valley, we're going to ask for it to erase that thought form from the earth that it never existed here so it can be back to normal and in peace. When we do that, what happens? We get snow, rain, the springs open, and then we have a beautiful place. So I ask the Father to be with us, to bless this land, to the earth, the wind, the fire, and the water, to release all the negativity that has taken place, and to bring things back into harmony with the beautiful sounds of the songbirds, the wolf, the coyote, the deer, the elk. The sound that they make is a sound that keeps the earth in harmony, and those sounds are missing. And we pray that they come back so that we can all work together in nature and how it works. Much blessings for the squirrels, for the trees that need help because of the blue fungus and the infection that was caused by the chemicals that went into the earth. A blessing to Earth, Father Creator, and Mother Earth, we love you very much. Help us. Listen to us today. Bring forth your wisdom and your energies that manifest what we want in peace and love and harmony, having trust and faith as brother to brother. The black, the white, and the yellow and red have turned away from each other. And I pray that they will turn around and face each other and look in the eyes of each other and forgive each other and know that it wasn't our fault for whatever happened. And I ask you to do this for this whole area, Father. You send this message to them through the sky and through the sun and through the moon, through the stars, and asking Mother Earth to do the same. Bring the highest vibration that they can through the sun. You are life. You are the light. You are the way of bringing the sacredness back to the earth. And I thank you for doing that today. Through the sacred stones of the earth magnets and all the stones that they listen and they hear. And the wind listens. The trees listen. I ask them to help us too. Much blessings for them. I thank Mother for doing these things for us. And Father, I offer this again with love and honor and respect and ask for blessings for the ancestors who are watching us. I ask for these prayers to go into the clouds to the mess. Oh. All around the world, through the water, same message for peace and love and harmony. So before you dig into the earth, we're supposed to give something, so we gave prayers. And that way, when I dig this hole, it doesn't leak light. Because I said the prayer, so it doesn't leak the energy. That's how it works. And if we go out there and dig a hole, like a mine, or dig a post hole, put the pole in, the energy is leaking out. What can thousands of us do together? One mind, one heart, one thought to the earth. We can clear it and cleanse it and clear all the pollution. The messages that came to me says this. When the water comes back, the water is to be shared freely with everyone. We have wisdom and truth of how things work, how the energy works. The mind is electrical energy and is connected by the sun and makes it work. Our computer. If we're out of order and we have hate and the sun comes in, we'll be five times hateful, 20 times or 100. <clears throat> if we're suicidal or murders, the thought will rise 100 times over. If we think we're sick today, that's our thoughts. We thought that thought, we will be sick. We think we're not sick, we won't be sick. Thoughts is what makes everything harmony or peace because we create our own heaven or our own hells. And today we're going to create a heavenly place. And some of the stones have messages how to do the ceremonies. Pick up the stone, the stone would pick, talk to us because it's a crystal like a computer. And it would tell us all what we needed to know. But before you could hear that, you would have to have peace in your heart, peace in your body, not judgment. And then you would learn that. That's how we know it. Mother's a, a Paiute and she comes from the bear clans. That means we work with the bears. The bear is very powerful. And my father is yellow hand, and so the yellow hands heal sicknesses. When we brought the water here, a blue bear came here. And then we asked for more help. White polar bear showed up and he had these two baskets, this bear. And he asked the people to put their prayers in the baskets and he would take them to the north. And then on the news it said, this is very strange, a phenomenon has happened. The solar express winds of the north has entered into California. This has never happened before. Well, why did it happen? Because the polar bear came. The bear is very important. He's the one who works with the weather, and the weather is spiritual. And it's our thoughts and those spirits, they help us. So that bear went to the north. If you watch the weather patterns on, on the TV, you see him 
spiraling around that circle. And so but the wheel is still spinning, the energy. Every cell is connected, but it's the water that holds our cells together. On the earth, it's the same thing. It's the water that holds it together. There's circles within circles because the earth is circles and circles. We repair the circles. And so when we're doing our thoughts and drumming, because it's electrical energy like we put around this, the clouds circle around the mountain. This is what's helping the mountain. That's Thank how it you. works. When I was really young, I joined a scout group that honored and studied North American Indian. One of the ceremonies when I was inducted into the tribe was uh, close our eyes, try to envision ourselves in the world, and we leaned over a sand painting and we dropped an arrowhead out of our mouth. Basically, it was a representation of the world. And I landed in the water. I never, never understood it. And events took place that put me in a position to bring back the enjoyment of the water at Tan Hot Springs. This was something that I was supposed to find. I wanted to talk to any of the local tribes about or stories of ancient burial grounds possibly out there, or a village out there. Uh, that included uh, Morongo and, and San Manuel. I really wanted to learn from them information and knowledge about the springs and how they were utilized and what they meant to the people. And I wanted to honor those things, wanted to incorporate those things. Within circles, four directions. What's above is below. What we did below here is what we did up there. Last time there was a polar bear that came to the ceremony. And this year again they invited this spiritual bear to come. And it was carrying a basket and asked us to put our offerings in the basket. And it would take it to the North Pole to the bear constellation, talk to the bears. The polar bear was a big white bear that came right here again. So we asked the white bear to do this. So we call upon the white bear at this time to bring the blessing to the North, to the ancestors of the North and to bring this power that we're looking for of the blessings for the water to come to the springs, to the rains, to the water aquifers, to the peaks of the mountains, to make them white with snow, which represents the milk of Mother Earth that brings us new life and new breath and rebirth. So I pray that the Great Spirit will do this for all of us from the breasts of our Mother Earth, her mounds and her breasts up there. I ask them to fill up with the whiteness of the sacredness and to take these messages to the Great Spirit, to the bear clans and the bear nations, to bring upon great snow and strength and wisdom that we're all needing within our minds and our hearts is this white strength called sacredness. Take an offering, put your prayers and thoughts on it and think about it. Keep our great thoughts and wisdom and clarity about us because what we're doing, we are going to, to manifest what's needed. And that bear will come take these and our prayers and thoughts will go into fire. As soon as we pour the offerings into the fire, it will rise and the north winds will catch it and the messages are out and the bear takes it. That's how it works. Ooh.